Final question for you, Guy. One of your old rivals is stepping into the octagon next month. Tito Ortiz is going up against Matt Hamill. Uh, number one, how do you see that going? How do you see that panning out? Do you see Tito or Matt winning? And number two, any comments on uh, the remarks that Tito made on Matt being deaf and maybe having a, a soft skull, I believe it was? Uh, you know, I, I caught part of that, that, that thing. I, I'm not... You know, you know, Tito has a habit of saying things that I, I think are not always the smartest things to say. You know, I mean, I, I think he, I think his intention probably was to be funny. You know, and I think that everyone took it out of, out of uh, context. You know, because uh, you know I know Tito, and we've buried the hatchet about stuff, and he's not really a malicious guy. You know what I mean? And and so I, I think you know he's trying to get hype. You know, he understands the value of hype. So I think he's doing a lot of you know putting some hype in it. But I don't really see him really being vicious about. A man's disability you know what I mean I, I just don't see that maybe I'm wrong you know it's not like I you know I hang out with Tito a great deal maybe I'm wrong but I just know I, I just don't think that was his intention I think his intention was to be kind of funny I think it was taken out of context and I think you know he's, he's paying the price but again you have to watch what you say uh, and so I think uh, because you could I could tell you a joke here but if you if it was written down it might not be that funny and it could easily be taken out of context so when you read about that versus hearing it you know, it could be, you know, definitely taken out of context because you don't have emotion, you don't have inflection, you don't have the punch in the shoulder uh, kind of joke thing when, you, when it's written down. Com comedy is very delicate. I'm sure Michael Richards can speak to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, not that he was real delicate. But as for the fight itself, um, I, think, uh, I think Matt has to come uh, I think Matt has a, a great opportunity to beat Tito. But I think Tito uh, is, uh, I think Tito, I think Tito's going to bring in the fact that he's daddy in the gym, and he was Matt's coach at one point, and I think that's that's going to be a, a really tough thing for Matt to have to deal with. He's going to have to deal with a guy that he, he looked up to, a mentor, and if he can get past that, he might be able to beat Tito. But I think Tito, uh, you know, if, if I was a betting man, I'd bet on Tito. There you have it. You take that to the bank. Just one more thing I, I just noticed here. Uh, you, there's no, no wings, there's no skulls, no dragons, no glitter on your shirt. Um, that's re it's really not indicative of MMA, in my opinion. I I'm sure you've seen the trend in MMA wear. Why is it that you have not uh, followed this trend? Not just not knocking your shirt. I mean, it's all right, but I could maybe a little glitter on the shoulders and a couple of wings might be all right. Well, <laughs> yeah, oh, man, uh, boy, uh, I can let loose on you for that one, man. But I'll be merciful. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll be honest. I you know I think uh, you know there's nothing wrong with all that kind of stuff. I I, I uh, you know, I was involved in mixed martial arts, and before it was mixed martial arts, it was no holds barred, where people were scared of the guys who got in the cage, you know what I mean? The last thing I really want to perpetuate as a businessman or anything is that, 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 that look or that image. First of all, I don't really like that look, you know? It's not like my style at all, it never was. And uh, part of it too is a lot of the pretenders wear that kind of stuff, you know? I mean, if you go out on a Friday night to a, to a sports bar, you know, everybody who's, you know, who's pumped a little bit of weights is, is wearing, you know, some kind of, you know, stuff. And they've never, you know, some kind of MMA stuff with a lot of ugly stuff on it, you know, you know skulls and all that kind of stuff. And they don't really do MMA. So I don't want to be mistaken as one of those guys. And again, and the other part is, is like I said, it's just a different, I'm in a different world. I mean, I'm in a, you know, I'm more in a business sets now. And, and like I said, even though I don't dress like a businessman, you know, I mean, that's where I'm at. And it's really not me. And, and it's not really so much of a more of a style preference than really anything.